Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have King Ryan Garcia, the man that just destroyed Devin the Dream Haney to give him his first loss. And Ryan is on top of the world. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the three-division world champion. We know Tank is the hottest young star in the game or could be the face of boxing outside of Canelo. But Javante Tank Davis is going at it with Ryan Garcia, letting him know that he need to retire right now before he get hurt. Tank saying, look, you went out there, you did your thing against Devin. But the way you fighting and the way you acting, you're not going to get away with that with some real killers. That's what Tank telling Ryan. You understand? We seen what happened, what Ryan just did to Devin. You feel me? And what we saying is Ryan can't get caught up and just thinking he can go out there and, you know, drink and smoke and, and fuck off, you know, and think you can get into the ring with some killers and get away with what you did to Devin Haney. Because you got some dudes out there that hit hard, that hit hard, that if you stand in the middle of the ring with them, you know, your chin and your body might not be able to take it, bro. You feel me? So what Tank is saying is, look, Ryan Garcia, I'm not impressed. Congratulations on the win over Devin Haney, but I'm not impressed because of what you're doing, the way you're living, the things you're doing, getting ready for the fight. You feel me? So if you're doing all that and, and not making weight, um, it's not going to work on somebody like me because we've seen what I did to you in our fight. You understand? Or it's not going to work on somebody that, that's smart and that hit hard, they got a chin, you understand? And they can dish it back. You feel me? So what Tank is saying is, if Ryan don't take the sport serious, if he think he going to do what he think he did to Devin, to everybody else, then he got another thing coming. He got another thing coming. So does this set up a rematch with Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia? I repeat, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, is a rematch with Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia coming in the future. Because Tank say he's still coming for everybody. He want to put everybody down. Ain't nobody safe, right? He still want to fuck up Devin Haney. He want to fuck up Shakur Stevenson. And, you know, his hit list can go on and on, bro. His hit list can go on and on. You got T.O. up there as well. You know what I mean? So is Tank willing to go up to see Ryan because Ryan looked like he's not coming back down to see Javante Tank Davis, especially after what Tank did to him. You know, what people keep crying about the rehydration clause, and Ryan said he made the way easy, but Tank went out there and bodied that boy with a body shot, dropped him twice in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Do Ryan want some get back is what I'm asking. And is Ryan willing to do what Ryan got to do to get that get back? But as we see, Frank Martin is out here with Ryan Garcia, and Frank Martin and Tank getting it in June the 15th. You can't overlook Frank. You can't overlook Frank like, like Derrick James said. Hey, it's disrespectful to talk about a rematch with Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis when I got Frank Martin coming up for Javante Tank Davis because Derrick feel like Frank go going there and get it done against GTD. You know what I'm saying? He go get it done against GTD. Got a video coming on that. You dig? So what Ryan Garcia is saying, look, I'm not coming back down, and now, you know, I'm the hottest thing smoking because that's what they feel like. Ryan Garcia feel like he called the shots in the Javante Tank Davis rematch if it was to take place. Oscar De La Hoya sat up there talking about, oh, well, if he's going to fight Ryan Garcia, it's going to be at a catch weight of 45 or, you know, 44 or something like that because Ryan is not coming back down, and Ryan Garcia is the face of boxing, and Ryan Garcia called the shots. So, Devin, I mean, um... We know that that boy trying to get back in Ryan Garcia, good gracious, um, Oscar De La Hoya. But when it comes to Javante Tank Davis, man, look, Tank is that dude that want all the smoke with everybody. Contrary to belief, what people be trying to talk about, Tank want all the smoke with everybody. And if it make dollars, it makes sense. Got to get the bread, homeboy, homeboy. Now, if they was to have a rematch, it had to be at 140. I will say that. I keep a trail. I keep a real. It had to be at 140. Not no 45. Not no 48 or none of that shit. It had to be at 40. Tank coming up. And Ryan, you bring your ass down and making the weight. 
But Javante Tank Davis, you know, he sit back, he analyze everything, bro. Tank still the big dog. And Tank still the dude that called the shots over Ryan Garcia. Like, we got to keep it real, bro. Hell of a win by Ryan over Devin. But Devin wasn't over Tank. Ryan, you not over Tank. You just bowed down to Tank on making the fight happen and did what Tank told you to do. Y'all make some good-ass money. Don't get me wrong. That was good-ass money. But like I always say, people are fans of the moment. Of the moment. Not, uh, not the sport overall of the moment. Because let's just say Tank go out there and stop Frank Mort. I'm just not going to know what I'm saying it's going to happen. But if he go out there and stop Frank Mort, then people go say, Javante Tank Davis put on a hell of a performance. He is the face of boxing. The king is dead. This and the king. You know what I'm saying? They go put it out there like that. So it's all about the moment, bro. How big the moment is and things of that nature. So Ryan Garcia got all the buzz right now. Rightfully. Rightfully deserved, bro. Rightfully deserved. You went out there. You put it on Devin Haney. Dropped him three times. You feel me? You deserve the credit and, and, and the recognition that you get. But let's not get it twisted and forget that, damn, Ryan, you did lose to Javante Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Can't take that away from you. Just just be realistic and things of that nature, bro. So people got to start keeping, keeping it real and keeping it real. But, you know, when Tank say things like he feel like Ryan Garcia is going to get hurt and things like that, then you got to go out there and prove it. You got to go out there and say that, look, I'm going to be the dude that's go, you know what I'm saying, retire his ass. You know what I mean? You got to go out there and show people that you you the one that's going to do it. Because other than that, people going to say that, hey, man, this dude was hating on Ryan and hate that Ryan just beat Devin because he ain't want to fight Devin and Ryan got the job done, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? People going to say that you hate it. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, fam, um, Ryan Garcia is going to do what Ryan Garcia do. Hopefully, he don't get caught up in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, he don't get caught up in that shit, talking about, um, you know, he can just drink and smoke and do what he want to do, you know, and, and have great success. You still got to respect the sport, bro. You still got to respect the sport because if you go out there and just thinking, you go get away with that shit, it's going to catch up to you. Now, when it comes to Derrick James, Derrick James is the perfect trainer to keep that boy, you know, on his, on his, on his um, P's and Q's. You feel me? Keep him on his P's and Q's and let him know, look, man, you got to take it serious like Canelo was telling you to. Take the sport serious and you can do something special. You know what I mean? So I won't mind seeing Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia in a rematch. I think that would be a hell of a fight. But, you know, it depends on the weight because um, Tank ain't going to go up too far. So if Tank Sandy go do this and do that, he got to be at 140. Tank got to be willing to go to 140. Ryan got to be willing to come to 140 and do what y'all got to do because that rematch will do great. It will do great. No rehydration clause and shit like that. It will do great. No? So let's just see how the future play out for these dudes. Will the rematch take place? And um, let's see if Ryan keep his head on straight, you know what I mean, and take the sport a little bit more serious now that he did something special in the game. And you see that he is still a big player. Straight like that. And money be his own to the next.